racing this time. And Zabadak went out well and so did Popular Arm, but a bit slow all the same. And Dundas made a flyer going out well as Ayo Matama. They're followed out there, Popular Arm settled quickly, followed out by Rain Girl and down on the inside, Hobart Star, Gamalite slow to get going. And then they're followed in by Sharp and Skipper, further back to Stampede and Vitaman and Delightful Lady slow to get goings at the rear of the field. They come on now towards the 12 out of Eaters Pole and Ayo Madam of the leader. It bowls along there at front by a length and a quarter in third place on the inside as they come around. Zabadak is out facing the breeze. Dundas is the one in getting the trail. They're followed then by Amazes, followed a length and a quarter away as they come down the straight by Rain Girl. And just behind Rain Girl is Popular Arm, this three lengths away to Gamalite. Round the outside is Vitamin Sharp and Skipper. They're followed then by Hobart Star and Stampede. And delightful ladies out of it all together. Down past the thousand metres. Peter's pole they go and Ayo Matama out facing the breeze of Zabadak down on the inside as Dundas on its outside as Rain Girl. They're followed then by Amazing Popular Arm. Gamalite is next on the outside as Vitaman followed down on the inside Hobart Star. On its outside Sharvard Skipper then Stampede and two lengths away Delightful Lady. Down past the 800 they go Ayo Matama. From on the outside Zabadak, Dundas, Rain Girl getting the run of the race. Three back Amaze on the outside Popular Arm. There goes Sharvard Skipper moving up on the outside, Gamalite is in all sorts of bother on the inside, and then Vitaman and Stampede further back to Hobart Star and Delightful Lady. Ayo Malama takes the bit of the showground Ben from Zabadak. There goes Popular Arm round the outside and Rain Girl going with it, and further back to Dundas and the pressure Sharvard Skipper. Further back to Amaze. They come out towards the straight entrance now and Ayo Malama the leader. Popular Arm on the outside, trying to get someone here, and Rain Girl is there also, but Ayo Malama's out by three a four length from Popular Arm on the inside. Then we've got Rain Girl and down the outside. Vitaman in behind them. Sharvard Skipper. Ayo Matter in front on the outside. We've got Dundas coming out well. Rain Girl. Popular Arm can't do any better. Ayo Matter wins the last. Then and Dundas takes second. Close for third. Popular Arm and Rain Girl. They're followed then in behind them. Amaze then Gamalite followed in by Hobart Star. They were followed in by Zavadak and Stampede. Vitaman further back to Sharvard Skipper. And delightful lady pulled up at the rear of the field. There's one. And that one is certainly going to stun the punters. Number seven, Ao Marama, a noted performer on wet tracks, but hardly expected to be a miler, and certainly hardly expected to beat the two gun Australians, Popular Arm and Gamalite, but beat them. Ao Marama certainly has done, and uh, this is going to be a real boil over for the punters. I'm not sure what the odds will be. Gary Hillier, the driver. Delightful lady from his stable was also in the race. She missed the start and that was the end of it. But Gary got some compensation by driving, uh, or rather by training Ayo Marama, who has won this one and won it very stylishly indeed. There's the replay as they turn for home. And Ayo Marama's in front, being urged along, but doing it well at this stage. And as you can see, there are no serious threats as they straighten up. Popular Arm is three wide off the fence and struggling at this stage. No way is he going to win. Rain Girl coming home fairly well on the inside of Popular Arm, but she's flat also. Ayo Marama gets a couple of reminders as it runs down near the rails, hugs the paint all the way home, and looks to have no serious challenges at this stage. Now the second horse, Dundas, just coming into your picture now. Colin de Phillippe having to take this horse very wide indeed. That would cost him valuable lengths, but he's running home very well, and he's got Rain Girl and Popular Arm certainly covered. Ayo Marama gets to the line and wins by the best part of five or six lengths. No question about the margins at all. Dundas would run second, and maybe Popular Arm will just get up to keep the place punters in business for third, but it's very close with Rain Girl. Have to wait for the judge to declare that one. No doubt about first and second, Ayo Marama is first and Dundas is second and it's very close for the third and fourth placings. Coming back to scale, Ayo Marama and uh, this is one which is going to have the punters buzzing. The result of this race, that's for sure. A run about uh, 63 to 1 for this fellow too, Ayo Marama. $63, I think uh, the horse was paying on the tape before it closed, so that's the biggest upset of these Inter-Dominion so far. Gary Hillier said that he was disappointed. He ended up with both Delightful Lady and Ayo Marama in the race, but he's ended up in a situation now where Ayo Marama will probably get through with enough points, with certainly picking up 13 from this event. And they're in the winner's circle. And Ayo Marama getting something of a mixed perception as uh, he comes back to scale. Tony Hurler, he the driver. And uh, confirmation is up at this stage. Number seven is the winner. We still await the official placings.
just decorating the winner in the winner's circle there now, Ayo Marama. The rug is on. And Tony Herlihy, the driver of the biggest upset at the championships so far. Well, Tony, congratulations. What a boil over there. Yeah. And the horse likes to go in the front, though, doesn't it, right? Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah. And that's what you wanted to do tonight? Well, worked out that way, yeah. 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 It was it very hard getting to the lead? Did you find it hard? Not, not really, no. Really he sprinted away real good. Oh, yeah. I bet you didn't think to uh, stay out that far in front for that long. No, not really. He really did it real good. Now, what's it feel like to beat popular arm? Well, <laughs> beat anything is good, isn't it? I, I bet you couldn't believe it. it wasn't breathing down your neck there. No, I see him coming. Right, what are the conditions like now that we've, uh, we haven't had some rain for a while? Oh, it's still very sticky. Is it? Yeah. And what did you think having to go out from a standing start tonight? That worry a little? With that horse it didn't. He goes away pretty good from a stand. Sort of gave him a bit of an advantage because popular arm drawn two like he probably would have led from the gate, wouldn't he? Right, right. Well, yeah. you've done well. You've done well. Tony Hurley, congratulations for the Thank you very much. Congratulations, Tony.